Greetings from Parts Unknown. My name is Sonny Sofrito, and I am joined by the self-proclaimed GM of Yep, I Like Wrestling. His name is Teddy. I am the gracious general manager of Yep, I Like Wrestling. And I am also joined by the blue-haired queen of the ring, Alex. Hello. Oh, as you can tell, I lost my voice uh, during the Royal Rumble weekend. I'm uh, sorry. My apologies. Your, you lost your voice and possibly your mind. <laughs> yes, I did, actually. You, you probably saw voice, it on TV when Molly Holly came fame, out. <laughs> and we welcome you to the Yep, I Like Wrestling podcast. So um, how you guys doing after this long weekend of awesome wrestling? Pretty good. <laughs> well, let's start with, you know, the newest celebrity in Yep, I Like Wrestling. Uh, yes, she's yeah. officially a star of the small screen. Yep. You're up you, there with uh, Undertaker guy. Yeah. Yep. Yep, hold your applause. That's okay. She yes. was featured on NXT TakeOver. I she was featured on Royal Rumble. She I was, was featured, featured on Monday Night Raw. Raw. Yes. I was featured on SmackDown Live. Uh, I will be doing meet and greets very soon. I'm going to be at WrestleCon very soon. <laughs> I will be having a booth there. I no. think, I, I think I, I, I th Honestly, I think I even saw you on TNA Impact. She blew no. That was her. That was her. Yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> Jeez, I saw you everywhere, man. I was like, damn, I haven't seen that girl. Wait, oh no, I see her every day. Yeah, it was uh, it was pretty crazy. I didn't, I didn't know I was on TV until I got out of the building at Royal Rumble, and my phone completely blew up with all the screenshots and the videos, and it was pretty crazy. Yeah, there was a lot of people like, wait, I know that girl. Yeah, definitely. It was good to see you though. Yeah. I didn't think I was really going to see you, but when I did, I jumped off my bed. I was like, oh my god, I know her. <laughs> Then again, I saw you on Raw. I was like, oh, God, again? This no! <laughs> and by the time you got to SmackDown? By the time I got to SmackDown, I was like, oh, I can't stand this girl. I never could. Yeah. By I the time I got to SmackDown, he just unplugged the TV yeah, at that I point. I don't do this anymore. <laughs> she, she was, yeah, where, where, where in the street he cut the cord on the TV? <laughs> no. It was like seeing the Bellas. I was like, oh, I'm so over this one already. <laughs> no. But I, it looked like you had some fun. How was it? Let's start with TakeOver. How was it? TakeOver was amazing. Okay. I could not believe I had the seats that I had. I was front row, so I was right behind the time uh -huh. keeper. Does uh, that mean you were close to Mr. EC3? Yes. So those, so oh. next to me, to my right, there were empty seats. And that's when they kept coming up, like War Machine, Ricochet, and EC3. And... Uh, I blew my mind. Like I, uh, it blew my mind. Like I just couldn't believe that I was literally in the front and I was right next to them. So you breathed EC3's air. Uh, I touched his hand when he walked out. Touch yeah. me before you leave, please. Remind okay. me to I'll, touch you. I will. I'll touch you very gently. EC3 is delicious. <laughs> oh my. God. Yeah, I he fist bumped delicious. War Machine. I high fived Ricochet. Oh my God. Um, just hobnobbing with the celebs. Yeah, you, were, you know. You were a rat pack. No big deal. Week. I also saw the Spirit Squad by the Rocky statue. Yo, that picture. picture yeah. Was yeah. Kenny Dykstra, shout uh -huh. out to you. And I met Izzy, which is uh, Bailey's number one fan. Oh, that's right. After the Royal Rumble. Yeah, did, she, did you give her a hug? I did, and I was sitting in the hugger section because she was like three rows back from me. So I had better seats than Izzy. So basically, you have a WWE contract right about now because you've been featured all this week. Uh, like. No, I'm not. I'm filming a movie in I Columbia. WWE I will not films. be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pulling a Ronda Rousey and saying that I'm not signed with WWE yet, but yet I am, and oh. the deal is done. <laughs> oh, yes, we know how that goes. We're going to get to her later. Oh, gosh. Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, it was a. And I mean, the show itself was an amazing show, too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, all those matches, I mean, listen, it wasn't filled with a whole lot of matches. It was just filled with a whole lot of good matches. That's what makes good television, though. Exactly. Yeah, and let's start off with NXT because NXT definitely uh, blew it out of the water in the beginning of the weekend. Did the authors of Pain ask about me? Because <laughs> I, I, I've, I've written them many letters, so if they ask about me while you were there, did they? Um, Paul Ellering has a restraining order against me, but um, the other two. It? You know, that's true. Shout out to Roman Reigns. <laughs> but um, yeah. Hashtag no. <laughs> Hashtag no means no. no. Teddy. <laughs> I can wait, Roman. I can wait. I'm very patient, if nothing else. So how are the matches? The matches were good. Uh, the tag team match was really, really good. I liked it uh, and enjoyed that the most. Honestly, the best match of the night was a tie between the Extreme Rules match between Aleister Black and... Adam Cole, Bebe, and the uh, championship match, which that just blew everyone out of the water with how fantastic that was. Yeah, that, that, that match was amazing. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it was just from beginning to end. I mean, there's a lot of people that kind of shit on, on Siang, but 
I thought he he did a great job, man. He he kept up, and Johnny Gargano really went in. Johnny Gargano is just the ultimate underdog at this point. Like he really, yeah, like you said, he went in, and they both went in, and they did a phenomenal job. Uh, and then Candice LeRae just jumping out of the audience and attacking Selena Vega. I was right there, and I just was yelling like, "Fuck her up! Fuck her up!" <laughs> As if it was like a fight in on Fordham Road. Like it was wild. <laughs> Those but the best. yeah, yes. those were the best. Yo, I thought she was about to take out some keys and like yes. just Vaseline, but it was amazing. And I was right there. I was I was right in front of me, and they ran out like right in front of me too. It was amazing. Yo, shout out to Kervin who was I was sitting next to at Legends when we were watching it, and he could, just kept on saying, "Yo, Candice LeRae is coming out now. Candice LeRae is coming out now." I'm like, "Bro, enough with it. She's not coming out." And then all of a sudden, she comes out. <laughs> yeah, she jumped over the stuff. barricade. Yeah, yeah, Kevin definitely knows the stuff because he was he, he was even get saying Tommaso's coming out, Tommaso's coming out, and what happens? And I'm thinking, all right, the logo's on the screen, he's not coming out, and they freaking waited to the very end. Yep, they did it good. They did it exactly the way that they broke up. Yeah. Uh, it was really, really good. And when they get together and they do a match, whoo, that's gonna that's gonna wreck house. When they do a match, I mean, I really hope they do like a series of matches. I mean, that needs to, that that that's going to be like the next great feud of NXT. Yeah. You know that that's something that you could you could really do like a full year of takeovers and and network uh, episodes, just them going back and forth, man. That shit could just last. I think Ciampa should somehow weasel his way into getting the belt. And then Jar Gargano would have to face uh, Ciampa for the belt at, like, maybe take over Brooklyn. That would be, so that would be amazing. That would be so dope because it's just, like, keeping him as the underdog the entire time. And then him finally getting it from him, that would be awesome. Like, for him to get it from, from Ciampa, yeah, that, that would be great. Yeah. Um, the uh, women's match, you know, Ember, Ember Moon. Yeah, man, yo, she's amazing. She yeah. Is nice to look at. I mean, she's amazing <laughs> to look at, but just I mean her in ring is insane. Well, yeah, so. she's also yeah, she's a good wrestler but also amazing to look at. And uh yeah. I really like the way they did the UFC start with Shayna Baszler. That was really cool the way that they just like followed her from the backstage yeah, into yeah, the ring. Dope. And <laughs> everyone in the audience was chanting Goldberg while she was doing that. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, when it comes to wrestling, that's the only other person that ever do something like that. Yeah. You know, um, that Velveteen Dream and, and Cassius, I mean, what you thought about that? It was it was okay, right? That was an okay match. Uh, Velveteen just kills it every single time. He's just amazing to watch. Yeah. Uh, his in-ring gear was really cool, the way that he just, like, channeled the Rocky and being in Philly and then the, the knockout, he fulfilled his promise. So he's not all talk. He's the real deal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like the next Conor McGregor. Yeah, man. I mean, the, the whole thing was a really great show. And uh, for those of you that haven't checked it out, definitely check it out. And if you haven't checked it out, go back and listen to our second episode, which was an NXT preview. Compare that to what you see on the show and you'll be gonna see how uh, legit Kervin and uh, Alex were in, in what they spoke about leading up into that paper. And shout out to the Royal Rumble kickoff show for featuring me in that package for NXT. Yo, for <laughs> she's everywhere. She's everywhere. Oh, man. Uh, Speaking of Royal Rumble. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait hold what? on. Just, what? I, I, just need, what? I need you to be a little bit careful. Yeah. Because I don't want you to fall out of your chair because your head's getting a little big. No, it's already big. No, it's already big. No, Sorry. No, I know. I, know. I, just, I, just, I, don't want you, I don't want you to tip over and break all our audio equipment. So, you know, like drag it to the ground. So, I mean, I don't really care. It's okay because soon I'll have the money to replace that. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, so. She's going to open up her own wrestling It's all right. Yes. All right. Yeah. Say hi to Vince next time you see him. Tomorrow. I will. We're meeting up later to have drinks uh, and steak. All right. Cool. Cool. <laughs> So moving on, yeah. You know, let's let's talk about let's let's recap the Rumble, which was one of the yes, best please. best shows in I don't know how long. Like that was an amazing Rumble. Too. That was the best Rumble oh. we've had in a very very long time. Yeah, I mean, Royal Rumble was lit. Okay, it delivered like a slave in a cotton field. It delivered. Fuck. It did. It was the first pay-per-view that I haven't fallen asleep on in like six months. So if I stayed awake from beginning to end, 
that tells you it was good. It delivered. It absolutely delivered. From beginning to end, it delivered. The pleasant surprise, because of the significance of it, has to be the men's Royal Rumble match going on first. I mean, we'll, let's you know what? Let's touch the let's touch on the other matches. Get it out the way. Like do a little house cleaning real quick. Yes. Um, AJ Styles versus Owens and Sami Zayn. Thoughts. That was a good match. It was. It was. It was. It was like sex with a Jewish guy. It was over quickly. It was just enough of the right amount of time because you don't want to go too long when that happens. Yeah. So they did it right. <laughs> it just they did it right because it was and a bit of a. Uh, uh, throw together, if you get what I'm saying. Yeah. So yeah. they did it right. Same thing with Brock and uh, Kane. You've got these two big guys. They can't go too long. Kane is, I don't know, 79 at this point. They did it quick. They broke some shit, and then they were in and out. That's how I like it. Just how, That's how I always like it. In and out. Done. Quick. I liked it. They didn't go too long. Yeah, Sorry. because the whole pay-per-view is analogy, called... <laughs> the whole pay-per-view is called the Raw Rumbles. It was good that all of the title matches were quick and got to the point. Very and, easy. yeah, there were good spots here and there, but overall we, pay we were like... This is the Royal Rumble, and we're going to give the most time to it. And total respect for putting the men's first. We've yeah. seen the men already. Let's see what the women could do. And it absolutely delivered. I am so happy for it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, one, one last thing I just want to touch on before we start really getting into the Rumble matches. Usos versus Gable and Benjamin. Were you surprised I went too, no? No. I was happy. I Honestly, Honestly, I went to the bathroom and it was there was a long line, so I missed that match. That's for me. And I don't really Actually, you know what? That was when a lot of people went to the bathroom at uh, Legends too. Like it was literally, it really felt like we were in, at an arena. Like everybody just went to the bathroom in one shot. I was like, oh, oh shit. My eyes were glued to the screen. I am a happy prisoner of the USO Penitentiary. They went two, and it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect. Okay, well, yeah, we we know that you like prison. Shelton Benjamin so. and Chad Gable are like are like they're like ambient. They just put me to sleep. So <laughs> the Usos in there, and I was good to go. Two, day one ish. I loved it. I I'm a big Uso mark. Yes. Okay. So now let's talk about the Rumble. Nakamura yes. versus uh, Roman Reigns. Uh, I can say there were people stressed about that. I was looking around really? as I was, people. yeah, when I was there, I was looking around and I was like biting my nails and I saw that people do the exact same thing. There were so many worried faces. Can we give it well, up we're, to we're, we're, for we're, sucking we're, everyone in? Yeah. And just playing with them like puppets, like look at me. Am I, I going can't to win? Front. Look how mad can I make you right now? I can't Thank front you. on that. But Thank I mean, you. everybody marked out when he did win though, right? Of course. Oh, okay, okay. Cause oh, of course. I, 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 for a second, I misunderstood. I thought you were talking about that that when it happened, everybody, when he won. No, everybody when they were out. going back and forth, Yo, and oh, it yeah. just looked like Roman was about to eliminate yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shinsuke did that whole, like, lock on him on, the on like, over the rope. Like, I was like, what are you doing? Don't yeah. do anything stupid. Like, don't slip. Please <laughs> exactly, don't slip. exactly. Please I was like, slip. not to Roman. Not to Roman. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I was actually surprised. There weren't enough... Uh, surprises, and or at least like ECW surprises, because we were in Philly. Yeah, that's the one of, thing I was surprised. I was surprised. I mean, a lot of those ECW guys right now can't really go like the way they used to. So I, I think it would probably have been a little bit of a waste. Yeah, but you can't say that because the Hurricane got eliminated like real quick, and you could have done that with Sandman or Tommy Dreamer. So yeah, I guess. But I, I mean, did, yeah, I did want one of the ladies from ECW to come to the Women's Rumble. It was kind of in the back of my mind. I was like, could we see Beulah or Francine? Yeah. Wet my pants. It really would have. But well, what yeah. doesn't these days? Shout exactly. Out. Shout out to the Usos <laughs> Marines, but continue. Yeah. Uh, speaking of shout out, shout out to Dolph Ziggler's fail on coming out number 30 and getting eliminated, not even at least being in the final four. Like, what right. was that? What my, my, biggest, my biggest beef with that was that given the fact that he relinquished the U.S. belt, wouldn't it have been better for him to come out at 30, get to the ring, get on the road before, and then not get in the ring and then just be like, nah, leave, and then you let in KO to take that spot? No. Or, or, you know, or, or you or you just bring us or you just lead it to like say somebody else surprising you know taking taking that spot i mean 
I mean, it definitely should have been somebody else. If they were going to do that, he should not be number 30. He should have came out, like, at least 24 or something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And if that, like, if he was going to come out number 30, let him be on the final four. That would have been great to see Nakamura, Finn Balor, and Dolph Ziggler on one side, and then on the other side to have John Cena, you know, where it's like – we're not having John Cena win this Royal Rumble. We're not going to have him go to main event uh, uh, WrestleMania. We've seen that already. To have three people that we've never seen main event the, the uh, WrestleMania, that would have been very exciting to see that as a final four. You know, so I thought it was a complete waste for, to have him at number 30. I was so disappointed. Well, you know what? You, you bringing up Cena just made me remember a couple of things that I just wanted to bring up. First off, tell me how dope it was when Cena got into the ring and they and everybody in the ring just beat the shit out of him. Oh yeah, they jumped. Oh up yeah, that was cool. That was a straight up East Harlem jump. Oh yeah, that was yeah, good. Like, they just jumped them like, yo. The pop nah. for that in the in the building was <laughs> real. That shit was loud. Yeah, yeah. Everyone I mean, was excited about that. I mean, that that shit was crazy. Um, another thing about Cena, which is just uh, you know just random notes that I, that I just. When it was down to the final four, when it was Cena, Roman, and uh, Nakamura and Finn, Cena and Roman were having that square off, and it was just weird to see Cena have to call out the switch. Yeah. You know that you know that part that I'm talking about. I mean, it was it was weird. He was like, because he had to call it out twice. Like he was like, all right, come on, switch, uh, come on, switch, and that's when they. Knocked them out, and then it was Finn and Nakamura doing that, doing that face off. So it was just something that you know you, you're watching it, and you're just like, yeah, okay. Yeah. Don't they usually hide that a little bit better? Should have. Yes. But it was just something that I it just I couldn't couldn't go without you know it's, making a note of it. It's the new HD TVs. It it doesn't hide anything. <laughs> I used to be a model. HD is the death of us. It's, yeah. It is. Yes. It just yeah. And, and remember, I just got a brand new TV, so see, forget yeah. it. That shit. Yeah. yeah that like that 99 50. inch television now. So you see everything. Yeah. 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 His TV, right? Yeah. TV. Yeah. Oh, my, my, okay, TV, okay. my, my TV okay. takes up a whole wall. No wait. 99 inch and you. What? what I, I was being generous, but I was just, yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, but when, when you know she said 99 inch and talking to you and I'm just like oh shit where's this going? No, I was making sure we were talking. Talking about. We were still talking yeah, about television. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, thank God. I'm Please. keeping it PG Please. for the next 30 seconds. Yeah. Yes. Please, God. <laughs> but shout out to Nakamura. I think he did a great job. The The crowd was so into it. Oh, we Anytime were so Roman happy. Loses, yeah. I'm upset, but you know what? It was a good <laughs> performance. I yeah. was entertained, and that's all that mattered. I yeah. was entertained till the very end. Shout out to Roman and Nakamura. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was a good rumble. It was a really good one. I understand why the man says. <laughs> Hopefully one day I will understand. But uh, can we move on to the ladies? Because you know I was jumping up and down the entire time. Oh, my God. Uh, so was I. Yeah. And, and you know what was, was crazy is we we basically had two separate experiences. Because, you know, Teddy was watching wherever he was watching. Yes. And his parts unknown. Yes. Or with his parts unknown. Shout out to Newark, New Jersey. Yes. <laughs> Shout out to Teddy's parts. Shout out to the to the king's bedroom that's where i was yes <laughs> and you know i was at legends you where we had legends. like 700 people come out and we actually had to take whoever we couldn't fit and put them at jack dempsey shout out to jack dempsey's and legends for providing us with such a great venues for uh, watching wrestling and alex was at the arena Live getting having in color yeah yep. exactly on yeah, tv was. getting mad cameos throughout the entire show but one of the things i wanted to point out is when you're watching on television and when you're watching in the arena, it's a little bit of a different experience because the commentary on this show in particular, they, there's a lot to be said. First and foremost, Corey Graves was on fleek the entire mm. episode. All right. Oh, really? Yo, Ooh. Corey says some gems, man. Like, wow. Corey is one of the best commentators. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like he's going to be up there with Ventura and Heenan by the end of his career. Cause he, he's already up there with me. I think he's like definitely on the road there, but for me, he's up there 100%. I mean, granted, I didn't know. I haven't looked back and actually watched the uh, pay-per-view with the commentary, but that's not a surprise to me that Corey Graves killed it because he's absolutely amazing. Check out this one, one, of, one of the gems he dropped. He's like, will Rusev win the Rusev Rumble and go on to headline Rusev Mania on Rusev Day? <laughs> Yo, Dude, I, 
that shit was fucking awesome. But he's jumping on that Rusev train because the yes. pop for Rusev was real. Let's and go. when they did, I don't know if they showed it, but they did the uh, KFC Oh, in the, the beginning, the KFC, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the, KFC, the KFC, KFC in the beginning. Yes. No one noticed that he got so he was in the ring with the Miz and uh, and Rusev. Yes. So everyone was paying attention to the screen, and then when they turned back and they put the lights on to the ring, Rusev was there, and the pop for yeah. Rusev Day was real. And then when they cut to commercial break after that segment, and he was leaving, yeah, he kept, like everyone kept going like Rusev Day, and he just stood on the stage and he was like Rusev Day, like pumping, and it was yeah. amazing. Yo, it was so, so loud with the Rusev Day chant. The RKO he's came extremely out of over. Yeah, well, this Rusev Day thing came out of definitely nowhere. came out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Don't I sleep not, on Rusev Day. I would not have guessed it. This oh, was the man who was being upstaged by Lana. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And he is so even he's so over that the crowd goes crazy just by seeing Aiden English because they know that Rusev yes. is coming. Yes. Yo, that's yeah. another thing. It's like when Aiden English comes out, it's crazy. The, the, they, everybody's getting excited. Yeah. When he was first and Aiden English just came out, everyone knew what the fuck was up. You know. <laughs> A year ago, you would have told me this. I'd have been like, No, I'm afraid you're wrong. This is the man who wore flip flops to the ring one day and was ridiculed. Yeah. And even yeah. when Lana came out in the Rumble, she still got Rusev Day pop. Yes. But, as a matter of fact, Lana got a pop. Finally. That's it. <laughs> like, finally. Yeah, finally. But she got the pop for Rusev, for Rusev Day, yeah. not the other way around. It's crazy how this man has gotten yeah. so over. By the way, this segment has been brought to you by Rusev Day. Happy Rusev Day, Happy guys. Rusev Day. I hope you my, have a lovely Rusev Day. Matska, my brother. Matska, my sister. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag so, Matska. So, so, I'm home. Uh, the men's rumble's done. I go get my snack. I come back. For the women's rumble. I have been waiting for this day for 37 some odd years. Shout out, happy birthday, Teddy. Okay, Sasha comes out and does a pretty good job. Now, mind you, I can't stand Sasha. I don't care who your cousin is. Never liked you, never liked Snoop. Don't care. <laughs> she worked her ass off. She was almost out there giving you a flare performance for like, what, 57 minutes? She yeah, was she was in there for minutes? 57 minutes wearing yeah. a Wonder Woman outfit, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wonder Wonder that was pretty dope. She did a great job, but let me tell you, was I the only one? When Lita came out, converted back to being 17 years old. Join me, people. When Boy. you 17 again, when you saw the eyes come on the Titan Tron, did you go back? And no, the out? eyes didn't go on the Titan Tron. No, no. I heard the music before. The music, the yeah. music did come on, but it was ju it just said Lita on the on the Titan Tron in the arena. Corey Graves commentary on Sasha. She was he was burying Sasha the entire time. Well, we hate her. Yeah. Yeah, I have to say, in the beginning, when the Royal Rumble uh, was about to come on, the Women's Royal Rumble was about to come on, I couldn't help but to cry. I've been waiting for that for 26 years. I am 26 years old. I've been waiting for that for a very, very, very long time. And I feel like there wasn't a dry eye in that house when they were setting, when they were doing the promo of, uh, of Stephanie McMahon talking about the the first Iron Man uh, woman uh, match yeah, yeah. and the uh, Hell in the Cell and the first women's Money in the Bank ladder match. And I was very emotional. I was so excited. And that rumble put me through an emotional roller coaster, especially when Lita came out. I am a hard mark for Lita. And when she came out, you... It you could have the way that I was yelling. You could have thought that I there was a murder happening like right in front of me. I was yelling. I was like, "No way is this happening! Absolutely no way! This is not real!" And I freaking marked. I can remember hearing Lita's music, and it was always her two eyes would come up, and it was just that feeling like you know she's coming. So to hear the music again, it was like it just transported me back to 1999. Yeah. She came out. She's a little heavier, but it looks good in all the right places. She still looks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's not wearing her thong anymore, yeah. but you know, it was like. She still looked good. She, the moonsault. The moonsault. Uh, but then again, point. the moonsault has always needed work. She's never yeah, really had yeah. a good moonsault. But, moon salt. but yeah, and it's it true. Was like, oh my God, I'm watching Lisa. And then, hello, more divas came out. We had Molly. We had oh, Michelle McCool came out. We had Vicky Guerrero. Okay, the excuse me, I had to jump up and down. Yeah, oh yeah, my yeah, God, yeah. 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 I mean, but that was a, such a surprise. We had Jackie. Unfortunately, we had Kelly Kelly, who is like Chlamydia for the brain. But <laughs> Michelle, McCool, Michelle McCool, and she, ha Michelle McCool had the most eliminations yeah. in that Rumble. Shout, Shout out, out to her. It was Already setting records. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I was like, 
was like, why did this woman retire? Why? Most yeah. of them, most of them, yeah, yeah, of them could go again. Yeah, most of them could go again. Even if it's like a Goldberg run, they could all go again. Exactly. Molly, did Molly do a Molly go round? I'm sorry. <laughs> Molly, Molly has a Molly has a school that she own, co owns she with. Uh, I think it's uh, Mr. Is it Mr. Anderson, or with somebody? And like she's in, like I think she's better now than she was ever. And and oh again, yeah. and again, she looked amazing. Amazing. The words of Booker T, she looked good. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the WWE just couldn't help but to catch my reaction when Molly Holly oh, came yes, out. You were a yeah. Molly Your girl, girl was on TV well, again. Well, <laughs> my, yeah, the, you were Molly Holly girl, which turned into Ronda. But we'll talk about you. We'll, talk, we'll yeah. get to that later. Okay, but, but, right uh, to you, honey. It but, was yeah. all about you. Dead center, <laughs> yeah. right to her. Yeah. I'm a Holly like, Molly. I mocked out um, for you, too. I mocked <laughs> out for Michelle, mocked out for you. Yeah. Um, excuse me, stratisfaction at the end. Hello. So, all right, so real quick, there's something I got to say about this, which in retrospect, it kind of makes the segment that we all sit it on better because it helped with the surprise. So when we saw Raw 25 and they brought out the Divas, I mean, not the Divas, the late, the women, the female uh, they wrestlers. Divas. They the, will always be Divas. The, always. Well, the whole thing the is... Superstars. The, super, uh, the female superstars, but... When they brought them out, remember how we didn't see Lita come out? We did not. So I, so my my thinking was, all right, Lita's not there. They're showing all these fam famous legends from the uh, female legends from the past. So you know what? I have a feeling Lita's going to show up. So when Lita showed up, I was like, that's the reason she wasn't on, on yes. Raw 25. But then with that thinking, I didn't think all the other women that showed up there so we're going to We're going to pop out later on. Jackie was there, yes. So, because, like, Jackie was there. Michelle McCool was there. Yes. Um, uh, uh, Kelly Kelly was there. Yeah. Tori Wilson. Yeah. Tori Wilson oh, was there. God. Like, so, like. The Bellas. The, so, oh, the Bellas. God. Speaking of genital herpes. All right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, Ooh. them. So, it's almost as if that, that particular decision <laughs> helped with the surprises that came out in the Damn. Rumble when they came up because i didn't expect because now i'm like wait lita came out she wasn't on the on road 25 oh so you know what they're not gonna have a lot of the the rest of the, the women that were there because we, we we all talked yeah. about how yeah. Vicky wasn't mentioned as exactly. a general manager yeah. and she showed so up you, in the rumble exactly so you put vicky out of sight out of mind you don't think she's gonna show up and what's good boom she shows up and she got a pop Trish was there. Over. She still got a pop it that's was, right it was so good to see everyone yeah. michelle mccool was working her ass off it's like why did these women retire? Molly can still go. Trish can still and go. It was Michelle fitting. can still go. It was fitting that Trish came out 30 because she deserved it. She earned it. She's, I, she's it. I got to spill a little tea. Spill a little tea, tea yeah, about her heads. coming out 30. So when she came out as number 30, be well, before, when they were doing the countdown, a lot of people were chanting Rhonda. Because they thought that Rhonda was going to come out number 30. And out. Trish came and out number 30. And a lot of people left. A lot of people uh, left the building. That amazes me. Yeah, there was a lot I'm of people so, that I'm, left about before I'm that, so which is like really surprised by that. Yeah, which is like insane. Where it's like, one, I paid a lot of money to be here. I'm staying the whole show. Yeah, Two, you never know what's going to happen. Like, why would you leave in the middle thinking that you know? They always pull these surprises. It's the Royal Rumble. I was so glued because I didn't know who was coming out next. Yeah. yeah Once exactly. Lita came out, I was like, wow, we could get anyone. We could have gotten Ivory. We could have gotten yeah. anyone. So oh, it was like, my God. Luke, yeah. China Which hologram. I'm, I'm, oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> what you say? China, China hologram. hologram. But oh, how about God, we shout yeah, out Stephanie McMahon for mentioning yes. China? And, and, yeah. And, and, and Lita for having China written on her forearm. Oh, yeah, goodness. that's Cause, true. Because she wrote, because she had she on her forearm all, all the ladies that couldn't be there. Be there. Yeah. yeah. And, went on, and on commentary, which I also want to address in a second, on commentary, you know, Cole and Corey were bringing up all the ladies that couldn't be there, and it was Stephanie that said, Stephanie hey, said hey don't forget the ninth wonder of the world, China. Hey, and, and for her to say it, given all the other stuff. Triple H said it, you know, yeah. that Monday before. Exactly. So That's it's like, true. So I think maybe they're going to consider her being in the uh, Hall of Fame this year. Yeah, it's totally, possible, 100%. Yeah. I mean, if, if, if the, the family is down for it, I think th it's I just, definitely going to happen. I can't believe people left after Trish because I, I was like, okay, well, who's next? I was waiting yeah. for Victoria. I was waiting for anyone. Um, I mean, there were well, some people who weren't there, which, well, first off, we could have done without Tori Wilson and Kelly Kelly. I'm sorry. I, I, I've never lied those two. Can't do it. Did uh, we need I, both I, Bellas? I, I love Tori Wilson. No. Oh, Tori. I love Tori She's Wilson. more plastic. I don't know. She's, she's hey, a Barbie man. doll. Her abs are, were, were insane, though. I can't front. Yeah, 
I my... need both Bellas. Nikki, wait, which which is the one I hate? Both of them. Which is the one that had the baby? Both of them. Bree. <laughs> I was about to say both of them. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because Bree. Yeah, because Nikki's Bree Barrett. Yeah, Nikki's Barrett. Okay. Uh, oh, Bree. shit. Damn. Oh, oh yeah. The, she, she's, it's a tin can inside of her. She's not having any babies. Um, Fuck. Bree. <laughs> Looks good with the extra weight. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah. Does. she definitely she was does. In, I was like, all right, mom, I think. Yeah. Um, excuse me. Where the hell was Alicia Fox? She was oh. injured. Oh. How? I don't know. She was on my. She day. was injured. I what my what I think is it looked like Jacqueline in terms of ring gear wasn't particularly ready. So I think uh, maybe Jacqueline probably replaced her. That's possible. Um, but she yeah, because now Goldust is looking for a new mixed match partner. For the challenge, uh, see, so know, she's injured that. apparently. Which, how the fuck is she injured? She, she doesn't even wrestle. Monday, there were two people I, mean, I was noticing absent: Alicia Fox, Foxy, and Victoria, who actually still wrestles. Yeah, and she was wrestling this weekend, I think, in House of Horror, uh, House of Hardcore. Sorry. Instead of Kelly Kelly, we could have had Victoria. Victoria yes. would have been nice to see. If I would have one complaint, just one about the Women's Royal Rumble, it would have been that face-off between Trish and Mickey James should have been Trish and Lita. Yes. That is I, my I, number I, one complaint. I entirely agree. But it's That's my works. only complaint. Still works. Still, still works. works. The building was so happy to see that they, they were facing off. Like, um, Trish was throwing up, like, what was it? Seven time or eight time? Seven, seven times. Seven times, yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven times. And she was, like, throwing yeah. that up, like, rubbing it in her face, which is good because they had a really good feud over the belt. But, man, that building would have ballooned the frick up if uh, it was Lita and Trish. So you had that complaint. I have a different complaint about it that it was it was because of we had different experiences. Commentary at the beginning of at the beginning of the match was absolutely atrocious. Uh, one of the you know, after Jacqueline came out, it got a lot better and it got it, it was almost as if it was it was clicking more because Stephanie was just kinda like uh, it was like it was almost as if Stephanie was like a casual fan that just had some notes, and she was. Yeah. It, it didn't feel like she was invested she did in it. She a lot of gasping. Whoa. Yeah, like, oh, oh my god, she like, did a lot of it's like, it's like, bitch, don't you fucking. <laughs> you knew this was happening. What are you doing? I mean, it's like, yo, step your game up, man. I mean, as it went on, she got amazingly better, and so and and, and and deserve. And I mean, everything got. I mean, as far as commentary goes. It got amazingly better after Jacqueline came, uh, came out. After after Jacqueline came out, it it was almost as if it started clicking and it was working a lot better and it was and it was uh it was it was uh pretty good. Um, real quick, Corey was killing me again with the mm. ladies. Every time you say his name, my God. Yo, he was like, "Why is Sasha not in a faction?" Yeah. Because nobody likes her, and the way he just delivered oh, that he, shit, he, he gets yeah. it to Sasha he was, every he, week. He was no, but he was getting to Sasha a lot, yeah. a lot. Like he was like, if you got a back, Sasha got a knife. So it was like he was hitting with like, it was it was almost like a freaking roast on Sasha. Yeah. Well, if you've ever followed her and some some of the stuff she says on Twitter, yeah, she gets a little real. She drops a little tea, and if you ever read the uh, the book Second Nature with uh, Ric Flair and his daughter Charlotte, shout uh-huh. out to the Flair family. She would often she would often throw real jabs like, well, why am I not being pushed like a certain Hall of Famous daughter? Like, oh. so she has a tendency to kind of get so go maybe at Corey people. Graves is giving her some medicine. So, some taste of old maybe medicine. he's giving it to her. I wouldn't mind him giving it to me. By the way, another one who doesn't return oh, tweets. God. But <laughs> yeah, he was on fire. Rumble, rumble. <laughs> Hashtag was, restraining order. I I think Stephanie was just there just because of the whole Ronda segment. Yeah, but the thing is that it was. The the thing was was this, Stephanie second half of the of the Royal Rum, of the women's Rumble match, she was really good. Her and the guys they were clicking, they were going back and forth. I thought it was really good commentary. Before that point, they all three of them were off. It was it wasn't just like I'm I'm pointing out some of the the great one liners that Corey had, but even those one liners. I don't even think they came at the beginning. It was it came towards well, the latter end. They were just the three of them. It was almost as if they were just like, all right, I don't know what to say. And they either found a groove or they had to be overly produced, which which got them to the point where they delivered a really great commentary. But it was for it was for the latter half. So I mean, then again, they gotta get their groove into it. They don't like commentate together. With Stephanie, and Stephanie's the boss, you know. It, it, 
I'm sure people Remember, still have the jitters. First time they've ever seen anything like this, so yeah, they may I mean, not have known how to go about doing it. But yeah. it was entertaining. By the way, I forgot all about. Hello, Beth Phoenix. She was out there. That's the right. Yeah. Stand down with Nia That's Jax. That's right. That was pretty yes. dope. Oh, I really nice. wanted her to lift Nia Jax up and just throw her over the yeah, top rope, tried. man. She tried to get out yeah, I really to wanted to see up. that. I, I, I mean, it wasn't believable. She eliminated the great Kali, yet you can't eliminate Nia well, she Jax. Kissed first. She kissed the first. I mean, well, hey, she, I, mean I guess she got to hey, kiss hey, Nia Jax I would have been down for that, yo. You know I would have been That's down for gross. that. <laughs> Talking about the stand down with Trish and Mickey, when, when Trish was throwing up the seven, I was like, please, Mickey, just do the do the hand gesture you did at WrestleMania. It was just like... Okay, I got, okay, you had your complaint, you had your complaint, I've got one complaint. What the fuck was Tamina wearing? I mean, this Fordham Road 1999 at VIM's outfit she was wearing. <laughs> Billabong. Uh, what happened? You wear black. Yo. Only because you can't find a darker color. You wear black. Hashtag white denim. I mean, <laughs> she was giving me 1999. I've got a cookout to go to, and yeah. Yo, I, yo, honestly, I thought she was going to a freestyle concert. She definitely picked that up at Pretty Girl. Judy Torres, Rainbow. <laughs> nah, she got she got that shit from Rainbow. Yeah, that shit was the 599. Or Bombini. <laughs> she got that with her Easter money. Yes. It was. <laughs> what was what was happening, Demina? And then she was eliminated. Oh, about six minutes in, she threw a hundred kicks. She had to return the outfit. Oh, it was on layaway. Yeah, that's she was on layaway. Got yeah. it, got yeah. it, got it. I really it. wanted to stand down with Tamina and Naya, but Beth did it great. Yeah, yeah. It was, and then Oscar. Congratulations you know, to what? Oscar winning great the job. first Women's Royal Rumble. And yeah, then her yeah. and Ember Moon. Hello. That was yeah, awesome. Yeah, that was awesome. When she was making fun of her arms. She's like, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, that was, was cool. Good. And this is the first time I've ever seen Ember Moon. Oh, that's Easy right. Easy on the eyes. So now I'm yeah. interested to see her work yeah, on yeah, NXT. Yeah, she's, she's good. You got to see her. You know and she did that eclipse. You know who's impressive? Sarah Logan. She impressed the shit out of me. I thought she was really? awesome. Yeah, I that's, thought she was. That's disappointing. Really? Sarah Logan <laughs> sucks. I really like Sarah Logan. <laughs> that's awful. That inbred hillbilly reminds me of my ex boyfriend. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I, all right. You know what? I thought she, I, I liked what I saw of her. I thought she was pretty good in the, the Only two things come out of Kentucky. Crystal meth and hillbillies. <laughs> Shout out to my ex-boyfriend in Kentucky. And chicken. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Ric Flair for winning the Kentucky Fried Chicken Battle Royal. Hell yeah. Um, <laughs> and we also have to give an honorable mention to the one and only diva of glow. What was Naomi doing with a chair? She was, she was crawling. She was jumping yo. up and down. That like Kofi Kingston callback? Yo, <laughs> but yo, she did like five, like five different... Kofi, Kofi Kingston did uh, all. things in one shot. She did it all. She did the, she did, she did the walk in the, the barricade, the, walk, the, chair, the chair, the hand thing, the handstand. I she kind of, all that shit. I kind of wish it wasn't Naomi. I kind of wish it was somebody else, but it was still really impressive. Why not Naomi? I don't know. Like, I love Naomi, but I don't know. She There's something really about it. Kofi, yeah, she so. is. I guess so. Yeah, I guess. I guess that's true. I mean, who? Else I would have liked to see like Carmella, I guess. But I guess she I, is the most athletic yeah, person. All right, I take that back. Fuck me, whatever. But I like how she, <laughs> she moved Charlie. She's like, move, girl. Yeah, I need this yeah. Team. I need she this was team. like, girl, you need to get up right, <laughs> right. now because I'm about like, to win this rumble. She's like, no, no, that wasn't Charlie. That was Maria Menounos. Who was? Yeah, about Maria Menounos. It's easy to forget about Maria Menounos because it's Maria Menounos. I try to black her out like the reap. Yeah, I try to. I try my best. Yeah. She was whoo. even the crowd was like, no, this is not happening. I wanted her to jump from the barricade to the ring, not use the, the chair. Yeah, that, I think she oh, could have wow. done it. Well, that's that's why I was like, yo, why are you doing like the like three of the three or four of the past Kofi stunts in one shot? Because that was the thing. It was like Kofi did the, the, the chair one time. He did the handstand another time. He did the, the barricade another time. Yeah. She, uh, she, she did, wrapped it all together. It was like she did, like she did all of it in one shot, which is cool. But at the same time, it's like, uh, okay, I mean, she she was athletic enough to, I think, jump it from uh, from the know. barricade yeah. to the ring. Yeah. But, but I'm I'm a fat Puerto Rican, so what do I know? <laughs> 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 oh dear. So, Shout you out know. to Puerto Rico. <laughs> Yeah, I think everyone did an amazing, amazing job. Oscar pulled it out. It was great. And then, of course, Oscar had to be showed up by the Ronda UFC Rousey. Ronda Rousey. Yes. Yeah. Ronda. Or, excuse me. Hot Rod. Ronda Rousey. Hot Ronda. Yeah, so, hot so Ronda. like, it's funny because, like, when I saw the the uh, the logo pop up on the screen, I was like, that's right. 
She was close to Rowdy Roddy Piper. That's right. I totally forgot about that. She well, jacket. she she and she had his jacket. Yeah, she had his jacket, and yeah. then she took his name, and they were trained under uh, the same. God damn it, the name's slipping my head. The same, they have the same. Basically, the same, they had the same trainer. I forget. Yeah, they had the same trainer. I forget. Yeah. I forget what it is. I read it online, but um. Yeah. So what do you guys think? Are you excited? Uh, Are you over it? Or hey, I I told you I wanted to see her show up, but. I would, me personally, I was disappointed because I would like to have seen her take a bump because I was curious about it. But same time, the business aspect of it is like, nah, you saved that shit. So nah, at that point, they're you're gonna have to pay for that, and that's when WrestleMania yeah. comes around. Exactly. I mean, it's a win-win. She resurrects resurrects her career because it's completely dead in the UFC and in the MMA world, and yeah. she's gonna take WWE all the way to the bank with her, just her name, you I know? Mean, so you, you don't know how crazy it was. ESPN, from that point on, because, you know, when at the, at the end of the viewing party, you know, everybody's clearing out. They changed the screens to ESPN. And for a second, I really thought that we were still on the network. And it wasn't, it, it, was, it was on ESPN, and they were just replaying highlights of Royal Rumble on big. ESPN and any other sports uh, program that they had on the screens. Because it was like, yeah, Ronda Rousey, Ronda Rousey. And that's the reason why they brought her in, because they knew it was going to oh, yeah. translate into... Of course. You know, it smells the only reason yeah. they brought her in. I mean, money. like, she couldn't do anything else. Yeah. But she chose to do WWE. She is one of us at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. Hate, to, she, hate to break it to y'all, but yeah, she, she is one is. of us, you know? She, and she, whether she does well or not, I don't know. We're, we're going to have to see about that. Personally, I am not jumping on that train. When we came out of the Royal Rumble so at, at the you, merch but not table. The, but not the video package that was on yes, Raw. Yes, Miss uh, huh, All the, the Ronda the, package. That was, okay. The, the video package on Raw made it seem like you were the only Ronda Mark. No, see, they stole my reaction. Because when Ronda came out, I'll... I'll a I'll break it down. Story. Yeah. In that video package, if you rewatch it, my phone is in my left hand. When Ronda what came is out, CSI New York? No, uh, yeah, because I'm about like, to break uh, it down. Because I'm about to break it down, no. Sherlock Holmes on y'all. All like right, my movie, phone, you know? my phone <laughs> it was, it was, was, the, it was on my left. left. <laughs> yes, was on my left hand. My and when Ronda came out, my phone died. So. That's not. That was not a genuine Ronda That's reaction. True. That was a Molly Holly reaction. It was a Dave Chappelle. That was digital. That whole. They thing did the digital. whole. Yes, they did the whole digital. movie magic on that. I wish she would have done a little bit more than the Family Guy monkey point because it got a little old very quickly. Because she would smile and laugh, and then she would get serious and point like the monkey on Family Guy, and then she went to the top, <laughs> and then she pointed again. I was like, "All right, sister, what else you got besides this point? Like, give me something else, honey." You know, they were selling the shirts at the merch table Already? as soon as we got out. Yeah, no as way. soon as we got out, they were selling that. The, the, wait, the, wait, was they were copping it. Yeah, of course, of yeah. course. There were mad people copping that, and I was like, "No, nah, I'm gonna try to catch this lift right now because y'all trying to get this shirt. I'm trying to get this cap. I'm not jumping. I mean, yes, I was on the video package, so I." I I got that under my belt. Don't you have a limo? You're lifting? You have a limo at this point. Yo, wait, your driver's at the the door. It's actually a a Hummer stretch limo. A Hummer. You know, like MTV Crib. Is that that the one that has the pool in the back? Mm. No, that's the one that has the sauna in the back. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Sorry, Sorry, I forgot forgot the model. I couldn't tell the difference. (laughs) Speaking of Hummer. Shout out to Corey Graves yet again. So there you go. Oh, God, please. Anywho. Jesus. Nakamura. Oscar. Good luck to you. Wait, real quick, shout out to the dude that we just got rid of from the group today that said, Nakamura and Asuka winning, it's fixed. I'm like, dude, it's wrestling. Of it's, course yeah, it's fixed. Yeah, yeah. It's, you know, <laughs> <laughs> what were you expecting? There was actually a guy on the group that said, how am I supposed to um, follow up with Asuka and Nakamura going into WrestleMania when I can't even understand what they're saying? It's just like, so now you got to speak English to, be, to promote your uh, thing? Like... How ignorant can you be? Hadigato. Shout Hadigato. out to that guy for being Hadigato. ignorant as fuck. By the way, that person that wrote that, uh, I'm going to probably ban you when I get online. So, uh, Sayonara. Bye. That's na, Japanese na, for na. suck it. Na, 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 and also na, for, and it's awful, hey, hey, hey. Your hey. band. <laughs> I was actually oh, going to say, so. hey, 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 kick rocks. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> In any event... Don't call us, we'll call you. But he's not wrong. I can't understand a word Oscar says either. Like, well, 
Fucking yeah. Talk. But that's the beauty of her, where it's like she doesn't need to say anything. She's still going to wreck your shit. Yes, so, she is. Hey, hey, yo, so why did she rip. need to get on a promo? Like, also, why did she need a manager to talk for her? No, she's, she's going to let her fists talk for hey, her. And real her quick, cakes. on some for real shit, I, I, that could be one of my future ex wives. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, oh, for Oscar, oh shit. Oh, yeah. We got a huge Oscar mark up in here. When you have sex with an Asian, you're horny two hours later. So just remember oh. that. Just be careful. That's um, what I'm saying. These thoughts are <laughs> the thoughts of Teddy and Teddy <laughs> Completely alone. Completely Teddy's thoughts, Te- they not, do not ours. Repre- they do not represent oh, the, 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 the thoughts are. of Yep, I like wrestling not. as an entity. DM me on Instagram, House of Alexandra. I can take it. <laughs> but speaking of Oscar, did you see the way she kicked the shit out of Sasha Banks on Raw? My God, she nearly killed Sasha. Dude, uh, Sasha Banks has to stop the suicide dives. Yo, They're getting too okay, like I was so, South Park. Oh my God, that, they killed Sasha. That that <laughs> that particular that that particular uh, dive made me think of when Lita took that really bad oh, dive. Yeah. yeah, I remember. And 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 as I was watching it, I literally jumped up and went, "Oh shit!" But not only did her feet get cold on the rope. Yeah. Oscar legit kicked her yeah, exactly. in the head. But, but the Oscar head like she hit the apron. Oscar like, like broke her fall kind of with her foot. With her foot. <laughs> <laughs> if it wasn't for Oscar kicking her, like that would have been a first. lot yeah. bad. Like that would have been yeah. so much worse. Like basically that was I mean, Sasha kind of fucked up because yeah. by her getting caught on the rope, she got she basically went into the kick and went down. Went down. And so I mean that was just yeah, that, Shout that, out to all you wrestling marks. When a referee runs over to a competitor and puts his hand in their palm, they're supposed to squeeze it. I didn't see Sasha squeeze it. Like, I thought she was legit. Yeah, hurt, she was fine. When Sasha shook, I mean, with Oscar shook her, she came too. Yeah, and again, exactly. Sasha well, did the, uh, what was it? The Iron Woman match against Charlotte for 45 minutes with a broken freaking nose. So, that's right. She's Sasha's right. tough. Cookie. Yeah, Sasha's definitely she's tough as tough cookie. Yeah. An oatmeal cookie, because I don't like oatmeal cookies, but she's a tough cookie nonetheless. I yeah. love oatmeal cookies. So Damn. I mean, uh, as, as we cookies are we the reason I have trust issues because they look like chocolate chip, but when you put them in your mouth, they taste like ass. So I don't like oatmeal cookies. All right, I can start. And that. that's the end of uh, things that go in Teddy's mouth. I thought this was a safe space. So excuse me. All right, let's go to Raw. Yeah, Raw wasn't that good following the Raw Rumble, in my opinion. Tough act to follow. Yeah, that was a tough act to follow. But Ronda not coming out on Monday Night Raw? Yeah, that was a little surprising. That she was, was still in the parking lot pointing. She was busy. <laughs> she was busy. We can't all get around She's like just you, pointing her Alex. way through. Oh, I'm okay. sorry. Some we of us have real things land to land on TV no, even though can't. I wasn't on the building. You hey. Know, we can't just roll in and become famous. Some of us actually yeah. have to work for a living. Yeah, I heard oh, that uh, on, on, like the, I on the uh, image outside. Um... Alex was like at the middle. On she's on the WWE yeah. truck now. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah. on the truck now. She's replaced Enzo. Exactly. Yeah, definitely. Exactly. Yes. She has just taken the. the but I still have Enzo's vacant. face with his like bug eye, like <laughs> you know. But I I replaced him. I will I'll soon appear on Two Hundred Five Live real soon. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one show I'm missing. That's the only one you're <laughs> yeah. on yet. <laughs> and we're gonna get to Two Hundred Five Live in a second. But real quick, let's just run down Raw. Raw I thought was pretty good. Um, but real quick, it's getting comical when when Braun is just breaking shit. Like it's it's, it's like when he like the basically when he basically put the stage over on Kane. I'm laughing because the only thing that really got on Kane was the black tarp that's underneath. <laughs> so it's like because the shit just went over Kane basically, but it's basically just the tarp, and I just laugh. And then the thing is that I laugh how they take him out on the stretcher. And then later on in the show, they're like, so Kane was taken to a medical facility, but he refused medical treatment and left the emergency room and crawled away. He hasn't been no, seen since. Kane sat up. He sat up. He sat up. Well, yes, 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 yes. He sat up. He, he sat up. He sat and up. And he crawled out of the hospital. <laughs> no, he did it because his insurance didn't work, so he's not going too far, first off. No, but the thing like, is, like, he sat up. All right. He left the hospital. All right. So you're gonna tell me that Kane is running? No. Like, he, he, the, all right, he got up and went where? Where is he? Like he's exactly. He waited like, for an Uber. What did he do? And that, yeah, and that's another thing. Like, how's he gonna call the the, the damn Uber? Like, I, <laughs> no, I, I want this picture. I want I want video of of Kane outside and with a phone. Like, yeah, I need an Uber. Yeah, you know, Undertaker <laughs> picked him up on his bike. That's how that worked out. They were wow. rolling, rolling, Yo, rolling. Oh, shout out to Limp Biscuit. <laughs> shout out to Limp Biscuit. Yeah, I love me some Limp Biscuit. And to, yeah. And, and to the yeah. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> or, or, or the whatever. They had badass. they uh what was it? Oh man. Yeah, the American Badass that was their theme song and then they had the they had the Get song stupid. at WrestleMania yeah. seventeen. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. the 
That's yeah, right. with the promo with the the Rock versus Stone Cold Steve Austin, which is the best like package of all time. Yeah. Besides yeah. Teddy's. Thank you, darling. You're welcome. Well, your boys were on Raw, <laughs> the Revival. They were live and in yeah. color. Yeah. Yes. Shout out and to they, Arn they Anderson's did, did Bastard really Children. Well. Yeah. yeah. The, the I wish it was. I wish they would have gone for the uh, belts against Cesaro and Sheamus. Like Titus Worldwide is like, all right, give it a rest. Come on, guys. I don't know something about them that I'm like, I'm, I'm like dying for them to, to, to get, get there. Like I want to see them succeed, but at the same time, Titus like, Worldwide. Yeah, there's something about it that that there's, there could be something good there, but there's not. It's like. It's like you see them get it only so far, and you're like, shit, man. They just need something to get There's, them over. It's not, though, because if you think about it, they won against Sheamus and Cesaro two times in a row, and then now that Sheamus and Cesaro have the belts, it's like, oh, no, you're not going to win against them all of a sudden. like, bloop, bloop. It's just kind of the continuity is just kind of off, and I don't know. There's something off about them. And yeah, WWE. I hate Dana that. Brooke. I absolutely hate Dana Brooke. That's my – Four for fifth uh, future ex-wife. That's sad. But shout out Stop. to her cleavage. I mean, if, yeah. if there's nothing else entertaining about Titus Worldwide, her cleavage is doing wonders that's for their why, brand. There actually that's is something more entertaining. Future ex-wife. She's which is her botches. On to SmackDown with Nakamura. Come on! <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can't find I mark out when he does that shit. <laughs> kick to phase. AJ Styles, kick to phase. It was it was entertaining yeah, that yeah, promo. Yeah. It was entertaining. Yeah, it was Roman good. Reigns, kick to kick face. It just does. I be world WWE world champion. And then when KO and Sammy come out, he's like, "You know the winner." I was like, "This is becoming hilarious now." <laughs> <laughs> this is killing. Me. All right, what's up with the woken laugh that you just did? <laughs> ah, yeah. So, sorry, I thought we were still on Monday Night Raw. <laughs> Rusev is amazing. Yo, Rusev, yes. yo, I want Rusev to be a face already. Honestly, I'm he, just like he's halfway there. Because he's like, there. it's like the, it's like the crowd has just pushed him over. Like, yo, every time he's on there, he's it's gold. Cause it's like everybody's just running from, him. you know. I mean, his, his, I mean, him last night. I mean, well, we're recording on Wednesday, so last night watching that match, that was a great match. Um, Having serious issues with gender. Gender is dropping like a bad stock, yes. like nobody's business. Well, now that, last week yeah, well, now, now that they're, they already went to India, they have to do what they have to do there. It's like, all right, uh, you could go back to jobbing now. Yeah, it's, it's, getting, it's getting bad. But it's like, it's also, it feels like his in ring is getting even worse. If that could be. It's probably thing. frustrating. Oh, I'm sorry. It was better before? <laughs> Slightly? No way. Uh, it was always it was always kind of but now it's almost like uh, well yeah dude, he's you, being, you, dude you're not even trying anymore well yeah because he was being carried by Randy Orton and AJ Styles that's why yeah you know what I think you got that you got a very yeah good, yeah, yeah you're right shout out to the Uso Penitentiary for their new graphic lockdown loved it Cho-cho. loved it <laughs> yeah we know you do absolutely yeah how the boys in Rikers Hook doing slam the door I'm ready I can take a beating uh, Go how, ahead. How, how your peeps at Rikers doing they're all good okay they write daily. Jesus Christ. Someone explain the Bludgeon Brothers to me. They remind me of bed bugs. You just can't get rid of the two of them. Just, they're just everywhere. And then I kind of thought that they were coming out to fight the Usos, but then the Usos just kind of walked away, and then two Javas showed up, and I was like, wait, did my Vicodin kick in? Wait, well, what happened here? Because I didn't realize that Uso, Jimmy and Jay had left until the two skinny white boys showed up, and I was like, wait, is this a triple threat? Wait, what am I doing? And I don't know. The Bludgeon Brothers. I, I thought we did this with the Wyatts, but we're not done yet. Now uh, they carry big mallets. I don't get it. Yeah, yeah, they were, they were on their way to the crap shack. Uh, I'm worried. Yeah, I want to love worried. it, but I don't. So, yeah, I mean, what it is at this point. They, yeah, they have like a 1990 gimmick. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not. Which could great. be good, but it's just like they're not doing it right. So it's just like, I don't care. Get off so the screen. Cheesy. So cheesy. You know what makes me laugh? How on WWE.com, when you look at the results, it says the Bludgeon Brothers defeated local competitors. Local. They, like, those, like, those dudes don't even have a name really? to use. It's like, yo, they're not even jobbers. They're just local competitors. Looking like two <laughs> crystal meth queens. I don't You're know gonna who be those two <laughs> Speaking of crystal meth queens, Carmella Woo! almost cashed in her oh. money in the bank. Woo! And then Against fu- the and queen. Then, and, and then she screwed it up like a meth head would. <laughs> First off, Charlotte gets beaten down for about 20 minutes. No one comes out to help her. 
Straight Fire didn't come out. The Glow didn't come out. Charlotte was beaten down. Like, she went into the wrong neighborhood in Brooklyn. She was in Bensonhurst, got her ass whooped. No one came to help her. And then Carmella tries to cash in. And then fucks it up. It was like... No. I thought it was a good. Sh I thought it was a good tease how it Carmella was, was cashing in, and and then uh, and then she just took the the briefcase ass, and she was like, "No, I'm gonna take this back. I'm gonna hold on to she this." She kicked the referee and left. And then her interview with Renee, she's like, "No, no, no. That's that. I'm, I meant to do that." She was like, "Pee Wee Herman. No, no. I meant to do that. Yeah. I meant to. Put it, I, I meant to." And then Renee shuts her down like, "And we're done. Like we're not doing this today, <laughs> Carmella." Exactly. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was interesting. And then um, now we're transitioning into Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn again. I mean... I'll be honest, this is when I went to bed. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> after you see Baron Corwin's hairline, you just want to lay down for a bit. <laughs> so I went to bed. I texted my five boyfriends that I loved each of them, and I went to sleep. Like, I didn't care anymore. I hope no, none of them are wrestling fans. None of them listen to this. They don't give a damn. Okay. They don't care about right. I like the way that they're planning I don't the want you to get stabbed. <laughs> Again. For I the like, third time. I like the way that they're planning the seeds for uh, AJ Styles and Sh Shinsuke Nakamura. With them, like, teaming up. And yeah, they had exactly. that backstage uh, the segment. Like... I like it, and I hope they don't fuck this up because they've got gold in their hands. Yo, they definitely have gold in their hands, but I feel like what you're saying, which I like, you know, how they're doing it and setting the seeds, and I feel like them doing it this nice, this early on, that is going to get real nasty late as we get closer to WrestleMania to the point where, and I mean nasty in a good way. No, no, like it's going to be this the match that they have at WrestleMania that's going to steal the show. Provided that AJ re remains champion and nothing happens injury-wise or anything like that, that match is going to possibly be the most brutal, craziest match that, as Alex just said, is going to steal the show because it's going to be top-notch. It's probably going to be the best thing that they've ever done, ever. Knock on wood. Let's, knock hope, it, knock it on wood. WWE doesn't screw it up because it, it could wood. be yeah, amazing. Because the thing is that if... if those two guys doing this type of, of planning, that build is going to be amazing. But, um, yeah, you guys psyched for uh, Owens versus Sami Zayn again. Sure, no. why not? No. No, no, no. I, I was saying that, like, sarcastically. I, I'm, like, tired. Like, Yeah, my reaction was sarcastic, I too. I mean, I don't – it's just, I like – It's like, yo, how many times are you going to freaking fight each I other, bro? I do it. I mean, and they're, they're really good matches, but it's, like, the storyline is just, like, all right, ja. But also, it's, like, over nothing, though. Like, yeah. if it was for a belt, like, that would have been good. Like, maybe if they it's won – If they won the belt at Rumble and then it was, like, you see the cracks in their relationship because they were, like, co-owners of the belt yeah. – that would have been good, but it's just like it's like no. I mean, of course you guys are gonna put on a good match. You guys are both individually like great wrestlers, but yeah. at this point it's just like let's get what's something the, else going. Yeah. yeah. So I mean that that was just our thoughts on SmackDown. I mean real quick, we want to touch real quick on 205 Live because there was a special announcement made by Daniel Bryan, which you know ironically it should have been made by Kurt Angle since it is supposed to be the. It is supposed to be a raw brand that just happens to be on Tuesday. But Rockstar Spud, otherwise known now as Drake Maverick, is now the the 205 Live general manager. And um, how do you guys feel about Rockstar Spud in WWE? Well, hold on. Wait, listen, listen. Oh, I thought I heard Dixie Carter s <laughs> slitting her own wrist. <laughs> quick, quick. Yeah, sorry, that wasn't what I heard. Sorry, sorry, I thought I heard something. I apologize. Sorry about that. Continue, please. <laughs> so oh, shit. <laughs> yes, I, I thought I heard something. I'm sorry. Hashtag Dixie. <laughs> <laughs> Dixie Rock. I'm happy to see him. I'm happy to see him. I still don't watch 205, but I'm happy to see him. Yeah, same. Nice. I don't watch 205, but if he's going to make me watch 205, sure, why not? Let me just say this. When it comes to Rockstar Spud, I'm a Rockstar Spot. Rockstar Spud. Sprat. <laughs> I'm a Rockstar Spud, Mark. Thank say you. that five times fast. <laughs> nah, I'm not going to try because I'm going to be here a lot. No, that was for the viewers, not you. <laughs> yeah. The so, viewers, the listeners. The Sorry, listeners. the listeners. So, yeah, you know, you, know, you know who you are. You know who you are, people. Anyway. Um, <laughs> was but, that your Barry White voice? Hey. Hey, 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 just baby. stop, stop, hey, hey. just stop, just okay, stop. I'll yeah, stop. I'll please. I'll stop. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, no, seriously. Um, I think he, he's the only person that ever made me 
cheer at a TNA taping because I, I went to a couple of TNA tapings. I thought the show was trash. He was the only entertaining person on it. And I and I always said to myself, yo, I would love to see that dude in WWE. Now he is, even though it's as a general manager, so I don't know if he's not going to be in ring, but i like to see him in ring, and I hope that happens. He's entertaining. So. He's very entertaining. But I've got a bigger announcement. WrestleMania is coming to my hometown of Jazzy. New York. Well, it no, just happens no, to it, be it, in it, Jersey. It's, it's okay. Yeah, so, yeah no. it's New York. Okay. It's New York. First of all, suck Fuck Jersey. It because it's Jersey. Uh, Shout out to New York. Well, we have to travel all the way New over York there, Giants. but it's going to be. New York Giants. I don't know soccer. Thank you. <laughs> Fucking guy. <laughs> anyway, WrestleMania comes to Jersey. I'm happy. Jersey, New York. Either way, you're going to have to get on at Penn Station. What do you guys think? I'm already saving up my money for floor seats, Shall baby. We all go? Shall we all go? Of course. So yes. you'll so pop your chair on going to a WWE pay per view finally. Be my first one. And yeah. And, and, he, and, and he likes popping cherries. <laughs> it's been a long time, so I'll be happy. Yeah. <laughs> Alex. Oh, Jesus Christ. Do you have something to tell anyone? I do. Oh my God. What I do. Happened? Guys, I've lost my smile. Oh no. Oh no. I'm moving up to the main roster. It's all because I'm getting a TV deal. She's I, gone. She's you leaving. know, I appeared five times on the WWE Network. I think it's it's time to ride this time? train. One more time than on this podcast. It's, is it time? It's it's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. So, on a serious tip, we really, 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 really going to miss you. <laughs> um, so, Alex is going to be working on some side projects. And she's going to be joining us sporadically over the next couple of months but uh we're actually going to be having some other people coming in and join us for a conversation with me and the self-proclaimed general manager and Lucky um guys. you know we're gonna wish alex huge luck huge success huge love because we i mean i look at you like a little sister so <laughs> i'm, I'm, I'm like you. looking forward to seeing the stuff that you're gonna be doing and, yeah, um, you know, and if you guys want to um, stay tuned on that, you can always follow me at uh, on Instagram at underscore Queen of the Ring. I will be releasing some stuff pretty soon. I'm excited. And, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll come back. I'll be back. Don't worry. Don't miss me too much. Stop crying, Sonny, please. Are you sure this is like getting all we slept together? Is that? But, but, we, oh, is definitely that not. Oh, oh, baby, it's not. No. Oh. No, no, no. no. It's like, no, 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 no. I mean, no. So <laughs> honestly, miss you guys honestly, too. honestly, look, listen. I'm right now. As, as I'm wiping the tears away, tell the truth. You know, it's Teddy's fault. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, I mean, tell the truth. It, it, it is Teddy's fault. Like I, uh, I told Teddy he no. needs to chill and you know, stop being such a freaking diva. It's not it all is about him. Absolutely not Teddy's fault. Not at all. Oh shit. So it's mine. On a it's side your note, fault. no, I'm kidding. Oh, it's <laughs> <see>? <laughs> The tables have turned. <laughs> <laughs> Stone Cold! Stone Cold! We have our own group text. Thank you. Oh, shit. By the way, this guy group texts in the middle of the night. But yeah, we do wish you the best. Group really sexed? Do. No, no, yeah. See, I no. Purposely, I purposely slurred no, it, so whatever no, you heard no, is no. what heard. All right, you know what? It is what you get. <laughs> no, no, can no. I have hell the dressing no. room now if she's leaving. Can I? Uh, no, I'm still yeah. keeping that. Yeah, Honey, yeah. I was uh, on TV. I'm still keeping that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, then that package I left, you should not open. No. Oh no! Because I kind of thought I was mine now. <laughs> Darling, best of luck to you. I wish you the absolute best. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, and, and Alex is gonna come back at some point. You know, when she regains her smile, and um, and when that happens, uh, we're gonna have an update on her upcoming stuff that she is gonna be putting out there. So she'll be able to come back and announce it when that happens. And going forward, we're gonna be. Uh, bringing on some different people, and that includes some of you listeners. So if you're interested in coming on, you know what? Uh, tweet us. Um, send us a DM on Instagram. You're going to send it to at Y-E-P-I-L-W, and uh, we'll talk and we'll see what's up. You know, we're going to actually be setting up some people uh, to come through and uh, join us for a chat and, and have an interesting time, especially when, with this one over here. And either way, you should be following Yep, I Like Wrestling on social media anyway. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. And also make sure you check out our website, yepilw.com, for everything, events, the group, our Facebook page, our, all our social media where we're putting up these crazy memes and everything else, as well as our YouTube where, we're gonna have, where we have the Mark Henry interview, Simon Gotch interview, and a whole bunch of other interviews with a lot of great wrestling talent. 
So uh, let's go home. So on behalf of myself, my name is Sonny Sofrito. I am Teddy, your general manager. Self-proclaimed. And for the last time, for now, not the very last time, I am queen, the queen of the ring, Alex. You can always follow me on Instagram at underscore queen of the ring. That's right. So uh, thanks a lot for joining us. And I'm at Sunny Sofrito. Teddy's at House of Alexandro. And you are with yepilw.com. Thanks again for joining us. Peace out. <laughs>